Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are five aliens. Ondu, Yerdu, Muru, Nalku and Aidu. They landed on an island that had magical powers. So if two people meet each other, their IQ will become the average of the IQs of the two persons. So for example, people with IQ 100 and 110 meet, both their IQs would become 105. Okay. In case the average is not an integer, in that case, it is rounded up to the next integer. So for example, 110 and 117 meet. So their average would be 113.5. So it would become 114 for both of them. We are given a table in which we are given their initial IQ and IQs after day 2, day 5 and day 8. Okay. Now we are given that only one pair of persons met each other in a day. So there will be only one meeting per day. Some people did not meet all others. No pair of persons met each other more than once. So if a pair of person has met, let us say O and Y have met, they will not meet again. Both Yeradu and Nalku met three persons on three consecutive days. So Yeradu would be meeting three persons on three consecutive days. Same for Nalku as well. Based on this data, we have to answer the following questions. So in order to solve this problem, we will have to make a table like this. So for each day, we will find that who meets which person and uh, based on the given average, we'll have to find out who met which person. Now, if you look at day two, right, Muru, the average remains same. So that means Muru must not have met anyone else. So the average remains same on these days. Similarly, I do also average remains, the IQ remains same. Now, if you look at after day two, both of them have equal IQ. So that means these two people, O and Y must have met on this day. Then only they can have equal IQ on this day. So that means on day two, there was a meeting of O and Y. Okay. Now O and Y met, that means their total must have become 190 and they got this IQ. Now this gives us that Nalku met someone on day one because Nalku has had, was his IQ was 84, now it is 118. So Nalku met someone and who could Nalku meet? Nalku has 84 and it became 118. So 84 to 118, there is an increase of 34. So that means there must be decrease of 34 in someone else's IQ. So this means Nalku must have met Yeradu here. So Nalku and Yeradu meet. So their total is 236. You divide by 2, you will get 118. So both of them have an IQ of 118 on day 1. And what happens in day 2? O and Y meet. Now this IQ is 72 and this is 118. So 72 plus 118 by 2, it is 95. Okay, so we get these two people. All right. Now we will have to find out that uh, who others will they meet. Now we were given that there are two people. One is Yeradu and another is Nalku. They have to meet. They have to meet three people on three consecutive days. Okay. Now Yeradu has met two people on two days. If suppose Yeradu does not meet on the third day and Yeradu meets on three days later, so let's say any three days later. In that scenario, Yeradu will end up meeting five people because two people he has already met and if he makes that three consecutive any day after this, not on this day, but any day after this, in that scenario, Yeradu will end up meeting five people. But if Yeradu meets five people, a person can meet only four people. There are four others. So that means Yeradu has to meet someone on this day. Okay. Now who will he meet? We will figure out later. Next is we see day 5 like we did in case of day 2. Let us see day 5. 116 is same. So that means either OM met on this day or 109 is also same. So N and A met on this day. Right. So they have to meet one or the other person. So it means that on this day also, one of these two should meet because they have to meet like O and M have to meet 
and n and a have to meet to make their iq uh, the balance out and equal iqs now they cannot meet on this day because yerdo is meeting someone on this day so we have n a or o m right now who could yerdo meet to make iq 100 okay his iq was 95 and in order to make 95 as 100 so there should be increase of 5 so that person's iq should be 105 However, no person has an IQ of 105 on day, uh, uh, day 2. Now, if you see this condition, that round off thing. So, suppose he meets the person with IQ 104, the average would be 99.5, that would turn into 100. So, this means on this day, we have a meeting of these two people, that is Y and A. So, Y and A meet, they make the IQ as 100 and 100. Now, if you see after this, Y will not meet anyone and Y's IQ will remain 100 only. Okay. Now, next day, it is either NA or OM. So, if NA meet, they will make IQ as 109, which is evident here. If OM meet, they will make M was 136 and O is 95. So, they will make 116. Now, which day they will meet? That we are not sure of. Okay. Now, for one more person, we are given that Nalku also met three persons on three consecutive days. Now, Nalku has met one person here and is not meeting anyone on these two days. And Nalku can meet maximum four people. So, that means Nalku will meet on three consecutive days. If you select this day, if you select this as NA and OM. Now, Nalku cannot have three consecutive meetings in this scenario because Nalku has met once here, twice here, now cannot have three consecutive meetings. So, this means on this day it was a meeting of O and M and this day it was N and A. So, O M met, that means their IQ became 116 on this day itself, right? And their IQs were 118 and 118 till here and 100 here on this day they met and made iqs as 109 each okay now n has to meet three people on three consecutive days so n will meet someone on this day and n will meet someone on this day as well now last day if we see 115 115 is common and 111 and 111 is common so either it has to be n o or it has to be M A. Now N is meeting on three consecutive days. So N cannot meet on this day because it will be four consecutive days and that will make five meetings. So N did not meet. N has already met. So it will be M A. Okay. So M A meet and they make the IQs as 111. Okay. Now 111 it became. So uh, now we will find who will N meet. N has to meet uh, this person O, right? So if N and O meet here, N who have to meet? If N O meet here, 109 and 116, the IQ will be 113. But we see that their IQ is 115. So that means they don't meet on this day, they meet on this day. So when they meet on this day, they will end up making 150 and 115, okay? And N will meet someone else on this day, okay? Who will N meet? And last day we have M A meeting, so they will make 111. Now let us find out who can N meet on day 6, okay? N and O make IQ of 115 here. O has IQ of 116. So that means O went down by 1. So N must have IQ of 114 or 113 on day. Okay, because 113 will also give you 115 as an average. So N should have an IQ of 113 or 114. Okay, in order to make 113, there is no option to make 100 and, sorry 114 is no option because even if uh, n meets this the person with the highest iq it will not reach that value 
However, if n meets m on this day, okay, suppose n m m meet, what will happen to their IQ? So this is 109 and 116, 225 by 2, that will be 113. So both of them will become 113. Okay. Now 130. Now what happens is this day n meets O. So n is having 130 and O is having 116. So 229 divided by 2, 150. Okay. So that is they will get this IQ. And uh, A was 109. Here also A was 109. M was 130. Now M and A meet and they give the average as 111. So this completes the table for all the 8 days. Now we can answer the questions based on it. Which of the following persons met all the other people? So we have to find who met all people. So we see N has met all people 1, 2, 3 and 4 times. But N, yes, N is the person who meets all people. So N is meeting Y here and N is meeting other 3 people also in this Okay, so we have Nalku meeting all the people. What is the IQ of Aidu after day 3? So after day 3, Aidu is at IQ of 100. How many distinct IQ levels did Yeradu have during his stay on the island? So Yeradu has 152, 180, 95 and 100. So there are 4 distinct IQs. Which of the following pairs of people never met each other? Yeradu and Muru. So if we see Y and M, right, they never met each other. So they have never met each other. Ondu and Nalko have met. Similarly, Aidu and Muru have met. Okay. So Yeradu and Muru never met each other. Which of the following pairs of people met each other on day 6? So on day 6, we have the meeting of N and M. So we have Muru and Nalko meeting each other on day 6. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.